Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's Free CompTIA a certification training course on troubleshooting adapter cards. I'm James Messer, and in this module, we're going to go through the requirements from our CompTIA a 22702 section 1.2, where we need to detect problems, we need to troubleshoot, and we need to repair the adapter cards that are inside of our computer. When you're working with adapter cards and you've installed it and now it's in your system and you're having problems with it, there are a few things you can look at. First, you want to be sure that the card itself is fully seated in the slots that are there. It becomes very easy, especially with ISA and PCI cards, some of those older legacy cards. They can come out of those slots, especially if the computer has been moved. It's really difficult to even see sometimes because there's very little room to look inside between the slots in your computer because it becomes very easy to miss. And if you simply remove the card and reseat it, sometimes that's all you need to really get the best connection there. To see if your computer is seeing this properly, you can always go into your Windows Device Manager and see if the Device Manager sees the card and if the drivers are loading properly. If one of those things isn't happening, there could be a problem with the physical connections of the card or with the drivers associated with that adapter card. Here's what you're looking for. When you have that card that's in your computer, you should be able to really see that it's fully in the slot. There should not be cases where the slot is sticking out just a little bit. And you see those copper settings, those copper connections coming out of the end of it. If we zoom up on that, you can even see some daylight coming through that connection. That should not be the case. These should be fully seated inside of those slots. Even it sticking up just a little bit like this can create problems. So you have to be very, very careful. That's why I mentioned during the installation video for adapter cards, make sure these are screwed in properly. Generally, if you've got them screwed in properly and they're sitting down in that, that particular slot, you're not really going to have a problem when it comes time to loading the drivers in there. Part of the challenge, of course, you have is that there are other slots right next to these. So sometimes it can be difficult to look inside of there. Grab a flashlight, maybe get a mirror, see what you can see associated with those slots, and make sure that they're fully seated so that you're able to have everything working properly when you get this computer turned on. Another resource available to you is the Windows Device Manager. See if the drivers themselves are installed properly. First, of course, before you install this hardware, you check the documentation, right? We mentioned that in our installation video, making sure that you know when the drivers are to be installed. Sometimes drivers are expected to be installed prior to the hardware being put into the computer. Sometimes they expect the drivers to be installed afterwards. So check the manufacturer of the adapter card and see what they say about the drivers. That can be very important. And if a card isn't working properly, maybe it's just a driver issue that we can tell. You could go to the manufacturer's website of that adapter card. Make sure you have the latest drivers. Very often, especially with things like video cards, drivers are updated all the time. And they certainly have bug fixes in a number of them. If you're having problems with a particular driver on a particular computer with a particular operating system, check the website. Make sure that that adapter card manufacturer supports that operating system. Make sure and double check that the adapter card drivers that you are using are the same as the ones from the website. And check the release notes and make sure that if you're running into a problem, that it isn't something that's already known and already recognized and documented in those release notes. You also may want to consider uninstalling drivers that are in Device Manager and reinstalling them again. Maybe something didn't work right the first time through. Maybe when you installed them initially, you didn't have administrator rights. Maybe now you should get the proper rights and permissions on the operating system and then install the drivers again and make sure all of the files are being copied to the places they need to go. If you just completely remove those drivers, it's a clean slate. Now we can reinstall and make sure everything is going to work right from the beginning all the way through. Let's review some of these troubleshooting tasks for our adapter cards. Our first question is, where can you confirm the operation of an adapter card? You've installed it. You've turned on your computer. You've launched the operating system. You've logged in. Now how do you make sure that the operating system is really seeing that adapter card? The best place to go is your Windows Device Manager. It will tell you exactly what the Windows operating system can see. The next question is, what is the first thing you should check if the driver or device manager itself doesn't even see the adapter? It does not exist. Well, we have another kind of problem there. It's more of a physical issue. Is the adapter really seated properly in that slot? And if we are not seated properly in that slot, it may be that the computer just doesn't even know that that card exists. And the last question is, what should you do if an older driver is already installed? 
If you're having problems and you're looking at your computer and it's got an older driver in there and you've installed or downloaded a new driver from the manufacturer's website, you should then uninstall the old driver and reinstall the new driver. Sometimes, very rarely, a manufacturer will have in the installation process for a driver a process for uninstalling any old drivers before installing the new drivers. That tends to be pretty rare, though. If you really want to be sure, go into Device Manager, uninstall that particular adapter card, and then install the new drivers and make sure you have the proper rights and permissions. If the adapter card is working properly, then maybe you don't want to install a new driver. After all, you don't want to change anything if it's working. Sometimes installing new drivers can introduce new problems. So you now need to make a decision. If the adapter card's working properly, we can leave everything the way it is. And just keep in mind that if we do run into a problem, there is a new driver available that might solve that problem for us. That covers what we needed to know for our 22702 section 1.2, where we needed to detect problems, we needed to troubleshoot, and we needed to repair or replace the adapter cards inside of our computers. If you'd like to see any of our absolutely free a videos, you'd like to send me a message, participate in our message boards, or much more, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.